Hello friends, how are you doing? Welcome to my C programming series. Today we will discuss one very interesting concept and very important concept called arrays. Okay, so before going to arrays, we will see a general problem scenario. Suppose I want to use one variable, what you will do? You will declare that variable and use in your program. Int a comma b. Suppose you want three variables, four variables, five variables, six variables. If you want 100 variables, you cannot declare 100 variables. It is very difficult, right? So, what this array will do is that it will within a single block name under a single variable block memory is allocated so that n number of elements so n number of elements can be stored in continuous memory locations as a block. So, array is a variable where elements are stored in continuous memory locations under a single name under a single name. Let's know why we should use array. So, how you how you should declare an array first of all you 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 should declare an array by this, using this this syntax int array name you can take any name followed by a subscript in that subscript you should mention a size now what happens you know uh, five variables this is what array declaration this is a single dimensional declaration now what happened compiler will allocate uh, memory for five elements that means integer size is five now integer size is four bytes right but this is an uh, what it is an integer array that is capable of showing five elements that's what a of five means now uh, five into four five into four is nothing but the size of integer in my compiler so total 20 bytes of memory is allocated for this array so if you display the size of a you will get 20 print as size of a why because you are accumulating five elements within a c within the same variable a right so size of a percentile d comma size of compile this program let's to know size of a 20 bytes so it will return 20 bytes so means one integer variable is having uh, four bytes so five integer variables will have uh, 20 bytes five into five into four bytes 20 bytes in continuous memory location that means you are allowed to store five elements in this array so you are allowed to store five elements with same name a so how you can do that this is called declaration no? so how you place data there using initialization so a equal to we have just declared the array but we haven't given any uh, data there so how can give data so 1 2 3 4 5 so if you take more than 5 it will give an error that insufficient array out of bounds exception it will raise so this is direction uh, declaration come initialization in the next line also we can initialize no problem like a variable now first location so first address so how you need to how the arrangement is done so it will allocate five indexes so each index will have address so a of zero so for suppose a of zero array index always starts from a of zero so that means in a of five is nothing but a of zero to a of four that means five elements so one will be stored at position a of zero a of one a of two a of three and a of four so four indexes are allocated so four indexes five indexes five positions are allocated with each memory so which each in unique address so a of 0 will have one address a of 1 will have another address a of 3 2 will have another address like that each and every address sequentially with the help of index it will give a given address so how to access this elements print as a of 0 is percentile d comma a of 0 now what you will get one will be displayed that means element present at a of 0 is 1 if you display one uh, a of 1 2 will be displayed so with the help of array index we are able to uh, access the array data so array elements are sequentially indexed sequentially addressed also for example compile this program before that we will do one thing we will display the address of this program address of a of 0 with address now what is a of 0 address you can make use of the size of address operator and display its address okay like ordinary variable a of 0 is separate ordinary variable right and you have understood the memory organization right now in the same way we will also try to print a of 1 now what i am doing is that i am displaying the element a with uh, array index you are able to so whatever the data that is present in a of 0 that element will be printed and i also want to display the address so each element will have separate address a of 0 will have some address a of 1 will have separate address like that they are sequentially addressed like a block ordinary variables what you will do a of a b c d e separately but here the same name you are able to access that is a advantage of array so now let's compile this program so size of this array is 20 bytes that means 
uh, it will start it is starting from 0 to 4 that means 5 elements so before 5 it will not have any data if you try to access a of 5 it will get error because the range will start from 0 to n minus 1 so a of 0 is stored with address 2535832 a 16 bit address that means 4 bytes is allocated 4 bytes is allocated with that means integer variable will have load of bytes no that's the 4 bytes of address is allocated next one is that a of 1 is 2 with address 36 40 44 48 so for each uh, for each element you are having 4 bytes difference 4 bytes difference that means one variable is stored in one array element is stored in 4 bytes completely not 1 byte it is taking 4 bytes that's why you are not getting 33 here 32 33 34 35 all the 4 are occupied by a of 0 only next again 36 given to a of 1 32 36 40 44 48 this is the address sequentially they are array and sequentially they are allocated with the memory that's why you are called array is a collection of continuous elements a of 1 will store in 32 2 will 36 3 in 40 index sequence is indexed see uh, array index is sequentially as aligned and address is also sequentially aligned each is having 4 bytes understood the concept clearly not we'll do a simple program where we also see next type of uh, initialization so in this program what i am do doing is that i am trying to print some of elements present in an array so first of all instead of directly giving the size here i am reading the size first read the size how many number of elements then i am declaring array with that particular size and what i am doing is that i am not i don't want to enter the elements at compile time i want to enter elements at runtime so each time you cannot enter scan f percentage address of 0 1 2 3 4 each time we cannot uh, do like this so i am placing that statement inside the loop so first time address of a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 up to n that means a of 4 it will ask to ask to enter next time printing the elements in the same fashion so you observe that uh, in the previous example five times you have used for a of 0 1 2 3 4 so instead of that place that element uh, place that printf statement in a loop and increment index value so a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 it will be incremented right up to n so first time a of 0 1 0 will be printed next time i is the less than n condition is checked incremented a of 2 will be printed up to a of 4 that means a of n okay this is how you can um, access array elements generally and what I am doing is sum equal to sum plus i. What does it mean? Here in each it initially sum is 0. In each iteration, I am adding the current sum with next sum value. First, for example, uh, initially I am having sum as 0. No. So I have entered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, assume. So first iteration, what will happen? Sum equal to sum plus a of i. That means called sum equal to sum plus a of 0. That means sum equal to 0. In the next, uh, sum equal to 1. In the next iteration, sum equal to sum plus a of 1 that means sum equal to sum plus uh, 2 that means 1 plus 2 3 so it will add the current sum value with the previous uh, current sum value with the next sum value next array index element so like that you will add all the elements up to n sum equal to sum plus a of 0 plus a of 1 plus a of 2 like that it will uh, add the sum so now finally we are displaying the sum value so we will try to compile this program number of elements 5 enter element 0 1 2 it is incrementing right 4 5 okay elements are element 1 2 3 4 5 yeah, array, array data we are printing and sum is 15 sum of 1 2 3 4 5 is 15 no that's it so dynamically also you can take the size and dynamically you can uh, enter array elements at runtime and also you can operate understood now what is an array array is a variable where memory is allocated sequentially so that multiple elements of same type are stored in sequential memory locations hope you have understood the session if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section we will definitely help you out and also please subscribe to our channel because your support makes us to give more innovative examples bye for now see you in the next session